groups made up of people who are like we don't know so we need to work together. We've got to sort out finances and make sure that we've got 12 um, different types of uh, companies that are in the town. So we've got the and you have to aim it at a certain market of people and have certain things that you think that the, that market of people will want in their village. For example we're doing like young adults who are trying to find jobs so in ours we've got a cinema because you can easily get jobs there. You've got a supermarket, um, you can get jobs there, and also you need food. And we had to have 12 like facilities, like supermarket, cinema, football pitch, and we had to we had we could have up to 500 houses. But all the businesses that have come along today recognise that they need to be here and support us for doing this sort of thing. Yeah. I'm the partnership manager for Education Business Partnership Southwest, and we have led the delivery of the event today. Uh, we were involved in the bidding process, so we were invited by the students of the schools um, to, to come along and present what we could do for them basically, and we were delighted that they chose us to be the, uh, the provider for these days. My name is Dave Mansell, I'm a bank manager with NatWest. We um, became involved in the project um, when we received a, a request from Involvement Patent of EVP to see if there was anybody willing to, uh, to volunteer for this sort of event. So um, this is the third time I've done this um, and we're very keen to, uh, to get out and support activities like this with schools. Today has been around the development of employability skills which are crucial um, to what the business sector is calling for um, and it was done in the context of a sustainable village so the students have been thinking about the, the planning of their village, what amenities would go in there, what will make for a, a positive community as well as uh, making for a positive environmental um, aspect as well. So, yeah, no, I really thoroughly enjoyed today. For us, so, you know, we're, we're part of the North Devon group of schools, the family schools that come together quite regularly, North Devon, we come together as, as, nine, as nine secondaries to share ideas and practice and, uh, and the gem that they came from Great Orange School uh, and to, to, to have a joint bid for some funding to benefit our most vulnerable pupils in, in year eight. So it's, it's been a, for us a fantastic opportunity and we're very pleased to be involved. I'm um, here as my, under my capacity as a STEM ambassador. STEM ambassadors is science, technology, engineering and maths and people from industry, pe people from uh, the world of work come in and talk to children about what it is they do or they help them do projects along the lines of the one we're doing today. Uh, and the reason I'm involved particularly today is that this project, when I saw it come up onto the volunteering list, spoke to me about things that I have experienced in around planning, around finance, around all the sustainable development, which is what I do a lot of for my company. So. Um, certainly um, the mathematical side of it is a challenge for some. Uh, some cope really well with that. I've got the ideas and they understand you know, that things cost a lot of money, but when they start coming up with numbers that say £65 million to build half a village, I think their head explodes, to be honest. I think that's the tricky part for them. It seems like too big a number for them. I think for them to take on a role, for some of the students, it was quite a difficult decision to decide what business role they wanted to take on. And I think for some of them, maybe it was a little bit um, outside their comfort zone, but that's what part of the day is about. It's about them um, thinking about how a business would operate and what skills they need to make a good business. So that was all part of the process. Today, I think particularly was the fact that they were, they were mixed up. There were three schools involved. Um, and the, schools, the groups were made up of people from each school, so they, they were working with people that they probably didn't know, never met before. So that was the first big barrier. Without a doubt, the school gave them their biggest challenge, I think, this morning when they said, right, we're going to mix you up with, with students from other schools that you've never met before. So, as many of the, the experts in the room there today reflected on afterwards, the noise in the room for the first five minutes was actually really quite quiet as they got over that 
Oh my goodness, who are you sat opposite the table? Um, we get over that nervousness of saying hello and shaking hands with the person opposite you. But as soon as they got over that, the teamwork started to happen. They identify natural leaders amongst themselves, find their strengths. And then within no time at all, the room's really noisy, but it's buzzing. And yeah, I think that was the biggest challenge they faced and they did a really good job of overcoming it as well. Um, I think the biggest thing has been the, been the negotiation. I think, you know, some of those groups, you've got a lot, quite big person, big egos there. And I think having to compromise and, and to negotiate. And, and at the tables where there's been quite an even distribution of, of, of different schools, there's been, has been a lot of negotiation. And, and I think they've, they've, they've had to think really carefully about how they argue their point and, and, and sometimes you know, and, and where to compromise. And they've had to think about that. And that's been quite a challenge for them. They've all, a lot of the teachers have said that they're working really well compared to like when they normally might be at, in school and they get a bit bored. Yeah, they've really enjoyed it and they're very enthusiastic. I think it's great to see how well everybody has worked together and I think they're all great credits to the school and I think it's been a really well organised day. The thing I'm very surprised about is the amount of information that they're bringing to it that's not included in the materials they were given. So for me, the, the big take out from it is that they are using uh, environmental uh, language and using environmental terms that didn't that weren't provided in the literature. Why did we get a poster? See why we got the Yeah, why we chose those things. And yeah. what and is there any like renewable energy sources around? Yeah. They're talking about sustainable forms of transport that aren't mentioned, different ways of protecting the environment that aren't mentioned and they're including it in their designs for the day, which I'm quite surprised about actually. Right. Uh, don't worry about it. It's really fun. It's yeah. quite challenging at first to get um, all of our ideas together and sort of find a starting point. But once we got started we, and we sort of knew what we were aiming to do, it was actually quite good. It's been a really good day. Um, with a large number of students all focused on the Sustainable Village Challenge. Um, and we as business partners have enjoyed it and they've enjoyed it. This sort of uh, practical activity, um, getting youngsters to work together in teams is crucial because a lot of their schoolwork is all individual and uh, they don't get the opportunity particularly to work with people they don't know. So I think that's one of the benefits of this activity. Yeah, it's been really interesting. Um, at the EBP we run a lot of these activities but we normally just run them in one school. So it's been really interesting to see three schools working really well together um, and with quite a large number in one room. But yeah, it's been a really, really busy but very exciting day.